Hi, my name is Jim Meehan here at PDT in the East Village. Um, it's Bodega Week for Eater, and um, in the East Village, I mean, I've lived here for 10 years. We have so many different styles of bodegas, and we really have an embarrassment of riches as far as where we can shop on a block-to-block -block basis. Um, we get a lot of our stuff from PDT over at Dual Specialties over on uh, First Avenue, right in the sort of Little India area around 6th and 7th Street. Uh, we have La Zaragoza, which I know you guys have featured this week already. It's an amazing Mexican specialty store. Uh, you guys have had Sunny and Annie's in, and I wanted to branch out from that, but it just so happens that Sunny and Annie's over on, I believe, 6th Street uh, and Avenue B just has an amazing selection of produce. They're famous for their sandwiches, which a lot of the bartenders in the neighborhood eat before their shift. Uh, but they also have great sodas. They have fresh produce. Uh, so what I want to do today is, is take up the challenge of doing uh, a bodega cocktail and source everything completely from the bodega. Um, one interesting little loophole that uh, many of you may or may not be aware of is that uh, aromatic bitters, uh, Angostura being the most famous, uh, back in the early 20th century, they were classified as a, a food product instead of a spirit uh, because of their digestive properties. But Angostura bitters is actually 40% alcohol. So uh, what we have here when we, when we pop the dasher top off is our base spirit. Uh, it's Angostura bitters. I'm going to pop that off very carefully without cutting my hand off. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is try to incorporate some of the, the flavors of the East Village. The East Village, uh, while having a, a huge variety of people, is uh, at least for me in my 10 years here, there's a profound uh, Puerto Rican and Dominican influence. So I'm going to use some sort of uh, island staples. I've got Angostura, Angostura bitters from Trinidad. I've got Malta. Malta is a, a basically it's a strange product. I'd never heard about this until a bartender named Juice, who opened up WD50, uh, made a drink with it at his bar. It's a very malty, rich, sweet, um, I guess, beer substitute. Uh, this is the low sodium version. I recommend the full strength, but we'll get the flavor we need. Um, when you work with something as bitter as Angostura, you need something a little bit more rich and sweet. Uh, it's March. It's the end of citrus season, so I've got some uh, sweet mandarins I picked up. Uh, and I'm going to make a flip with this. And anytime you make a flip, uh, a drink with a whole egg, you want to make sure and use uh, the best eggs and the most fresh eggs you can find. Uh, for $2.99 over at Sunny and Annie's, I got some uh, cage-free organic uh, eggs. And this drink is going to be super simple. Uh, I'm going to add an ounce and a half of Angostura bitters. I'm going to add three ounces of Malta. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what is he going to do with the soda? Is he going to shake it? Whenever you make a drink with beer, or in this case with a, a sparkling ingredient like Malta, you're going to see that I'm going to have to decarbonate it. So you could either decant it and let it sit out for an hour and sort of let those bubbles um, go away, or you can do what I'm going to do in a sec, which is swirl it. Um, I'm just going to take one of these mandarins, so the juice of one of these sweet oranges. And then I'm going to pop a whole egg into my shaker. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, am I going to get sick if I eat a whole egg? No, you're not. Uh, as I said before, source the best fresh eggs you can possibly find. Uh, most of salmonella or the problems are in the shell, so make sure you don't get any shell in your cocktails. Um, now I'm going to decarbonate, sort of get some of that uh, CO2, which if I didn't do, when I started shaking this, the, sh the shaker would explode, which is not a good thing. And when we make egg drinks, we're looking to do two things. We're looking to emulsify the egg proteins, and then we're going to go back and we're going to shake it and get the chill and dilution. So first I'm going to do what we call the dry shake. So I'm going to shake it for about eight or nine seconds without ice. And this is going to get me that creamy texture that I'm looking for. And now I'm going to be very careful, because I know that this is carbonated when I break my shaker. See it popped out? Catch that. Add my ice. Now I'm going to give it a good 8 or 10 second shake. Once again, I'm going to be careful that it doesn't pop out too much, and it didn't that second time. Pull one of your handy coops. Unfortunately, not available at bodegas, although you could definitely grab some plastic cups. Strain into your coop. And then you could actually serve. Um, it's delicious as it is. I just tasted it beforehand. Or if you happen to be at a cocktail bar, you could grab uh, some nutmeg or at a bodega, get some 
some already ground nutmeg and grate a little nutmeg over the surface. This is the bodega flip.